Ole ole to all football fans, soccer if you're American. This is Hellhound Engineering Solutions bringing you a down and dirty, do it yourself, adding a dedicated circuit with outlet drop for a refrigerator or freezer. The National Electric Code requires a dedicated circuit for major electrical appliances. Before I began, I disconnected the power to the main panel. I attached a two gang gray weatherproof box with three quarter inch hole below the main power panel and connected them with a short piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe. I was able to utilize the old breakers but purchased two new 20 amp heavy duty outlets. I followed the instructions on the inside of the package during the installation. This was a little tricky pulling the Romex from the two gang box with a scrap piece of wire to the panel. After stripping the wire to about six inches, being very careful not to cut into the actual wire itself, pulling and pushing the remainder up into the panel, leaving only about one inch of the outer casing exposed in the box and the rest of the wire up in the panel. Connecting the plug to the wire is straightforward and easy. Black wire connects to the brass screw. The white wire connects to the silver screw. And finally the copper wire attaches to the green screw. I finished by wrapping black electrical tape around the outlet. It provides me with a little more insurance. Pushing the wires and outlet into the two gang box, being very careful not to let the bare ground wire come into contact with any bare terminal while pushing and screwing the outlet into the box. We're getting closer now. Let's go get the outlet cover and install it. It is very easily done. All you have to do is be careful not to drop any of the screws because they are very hard to find. I have done this before and ended up going back to the store for more screws. Inside the panel, after stripping the outer insulation from the wire, and attaching them to the breaker per the instructions from the manufacturer. The breaker then snaps easily back into place in one of the available slots. You almost got a plumber's crack. Anyway, tucking the excess wire neatly in place and connecting all the ground wires together. I used some of the removed outer insulation jacket to name the circuit. This makes it easy to locate with the cover off. Final step is to check the outlet with the receptacle tester. And if okay, then plug in your fridge or freezer in. Ole ole! All done. This is a doable DIY project. Just be careful and read the instructions.